Hi, my name is Mike Thornton and I'm the principal horn of your Colorado Symphony. I'm so excited to share the Mozart Fourth Horn Concerto with you during the Mozart and Now programs. The Mozart Fourth Horn Concerto is almost a soap opera unto itself. There are stories about the hornist for whom it's written and whether or not he owned a cheese shop during his reign as the leading horn virtuoso of the 18th century. There are stories about whether Mozart had secret codes written into his score by the use of different colors in the horn score for this piece. And there are even all sorts of interesting dialogues around the idea that Mozart wrote this entire set of four concerti within a period of five years in the well-developed part of his life. So there are so many interesting things to come and hear in this work. The instrument for which Mozart wrote this concerto is actually the natural horn. This instrument does not have valves and only has available to it a certain harmonic series of notes that exist in sympathy with the length of tubing. So those were the only notes you could play, but Lightgabe, the horn player, and many others figured out that by moving their hand in the bell, they could fill in some of those other notes, and they learned to play melodies like the Mozart Concerto. Now, that was an interesting way back in that time to do it, and it was a very unique technique. But in the 1800s, a man named Stutzel invented valves, and that's the instrument we currently play. And when you play it on this instrument, all of the notes sound much more similar and resonate differently. So as you can hear, progress is sometimes a good thing. I hope that you'll be able to join us for this very innovative program of Mozart and Now next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, January 26th through 28th, Friday and Saturday at 7.30 p.m., Sunday at 1 p.m. I'm really looking forward to playing the Mozart Fourth Horn Concerto on Saturday and Sunday and hope to see you there.